Okay, in this video, we wanted to go over how Google Ads work. There's a lot of questions. Uh, people want to know just the basics of, uh, it used to be called Google AdWords, actually, but just how does it work? How do you put keywords in there? How do your ads show? How to set up a Google Ads account? Uh, what's the best option for different advertisers, depending on your industry, your business? Are you going to manage it to yourself? Are you going to hire a Google Ads agency? Uh, just the basics for beginners on Google Ads and how to get everything started, uh, what it looks like inside the actual dashboard when you're setting up your Google Ads search campaign so that you can pop up on Google when people search your specific keywords and uh, it shows your ads. So we'll just go through the very basics. If you don't know anything about Google Ads and you just want some beginner Google Ads training, this is going to go over that. Uh, at the most basic level. So we'll go ahead and jump into that now so you just understand how Google Ads works. Okay, in this training, we're going to go through a quick intro to Google search advertising. That way you learn more about how the platform works and how ads are set up. So we'll start with a quick intro on how Google search ads work, and then we'll get into setting up Google search ads inside the actual platform so you can see it from an advertiser's point of view as far as setting up campaigns, ad groups, keywords, ads, uh, and negative keywords. These are all elements of your actual Google search campaign that you set up inside the dashboard. So first let's start with the basic, just how Google search ads work. You've probably seen these just when you do a basic Google search. We'll use an example, accounting services in Houston, or you might be looking for home services or maybe shopping online. You, you first start with the keywords. These are the words that you type inside of your Google search. So here we have a search for accounting services Houston, and you see at the top there's all these ads. The, the top results are the ads a lot of times under that you'll see a map if it's a local uh, search and then under that they're called organic results. That's from doing SEO, uh, completely different process. The, the top, these are paid ads, uh, also called PPC or pay-per-click. Uh, these are the actual Google ads that these advertisers have a Google ads account so that when someone types accounting services Houston, they have that in their account so they'll show up at the top. So you've got this ad, cloud accounting services, you've got flat rate affordable pricing, you've got Houston accountant and outsourcing solutions company. So all of these paid to be to show up for accounting services Houston. Whereas SEO, that, that's putting the keyword on your site and the text and things like that, a completely different process. The ones up here, uh, it's a lot faster and easier to just pay to be at the top for uh, paid ads. So that's what all these are at the top. You've probably seen those. So we'll, we'll talk a little bit more about how you actually show up here uh, and get these keywords in your account to get your ads running. So this training video is actually going to be a sample from our actual training program. So you can get a better idea of what's in here, uh, what we offer. Some of these are more uh, beginner lessons and they'll go into more advanced. So if you need more advanced training, uh, we do have a link below in the description that will give you access to uh, discounts and different things like that from our advanced training and all of our different programs. That's going to be a link down in the description below. So uh, this, this is just a, a really simplified version. Inside your Google account, you can put different keywords. Usually just start with ones off the top of your head you wanna show for. Accounting Services Houston, Houston Accounting Company, Accounting Services Near Me, and Google has a lot of tools. There's competitor tools that will show you what keywords uh, competitors' ads are showing for or have shown for in the past. So the main point is Google gives you a lot of suggestions. If you put these in here, Google will tell you people also search accountants near me or CPAs near me or bookkeeping services or small business accountant. There's all these tools. Google just gives you the information on what people are commonly searching. So you can add them into your account. You can use Google tools. You can use third-party software that you, you buy outside of Google. Uh, and just to oversimplify it, you put those keywords in your account and write an ad. So you're telling Google that I want my ad to show for these keywords. And you keep testing new keywords, see what people respond to, which ones people click on, which ones 
uh, get you get you more sales, more leads, more accounts, things like that. So th this is just a quick snapshot of one of the parts inside the Google Ads dashboard. So next we'll talk more about setting up your Google Search Ads account, what it actually looks like inside to get those ads set up to show up on Google. So the structure, the way Google Ads has it set up, there's a couple of different levels to organize all the keywords and ads. At the top level, you have the campaign that has all your main settings, your location, budget, things like that. You start out with a campaign and then to not have hundreds of keywords just in one big organized group, keywords are grouped together in ad groups. So you have your campaign, which contains ad groups that then has the keywords separated by theme to make it easier to manage, and then the ad. So an ad group will have one particular theme, maybe uh, accounting services near me, and it'll have all those keywords in it, and then the ad will say something like that, accounting services near me. So it's a better way to organize it if you're, um, you know, for accounting, for an attorney, for uh, different types of home services, or if you have e-commerce, different products, uh, shoes, for example, you have you know hiking shoes, running shoes, uh, all different types of shoes, you'd, you'd organize them this way. It, it's a b easier way to clean up your account and just keep it all organized inside of there. So mention the campaign, those are all the high level settings. So this is where you'll figure out the type of campaign. Is it gonna show up in search? Is it a remarketing campaign, banner ads, video ads, things like that? So just first off, what type of campaign is it? You set up your daily budget, your targeting location, uh, where do you want your ads to show? Is it a city? Is it United States? Is it uh, worldwide? Where exactly are these ads showing uh, to which people? And then also the devices you wanna show. Do you wanna show on mobile phones, desktop, tablets, all of them at the same time? all these different settings and then also your bidding settings because google is set up as a bidding system that's why it's it's pay per click you only pay if someone clicks on the ad but obviously there's more than one person bidding for that spot so it works as an auction system to where you set your bid maybe you're willing to pay a dollar a click ten dollars per click thirty dollars per click whatever it is and other people are bidding on the same keyword so with the bid and some other factors included, that's how Google decides who shows up in the first position, the third position, uh, things like that. It's, it's based on a bidding system that's set. Uh, usually at the campaign level, there are other settings you can set it up as. So at the first level here, when you're setting up a campaign, this is a screenshot. Um, it looks slightly different depending on which version you have, but it pretty much suggests when you set it up, is the campaign going to be a search campaign on Google.com and, and its search partners? Is it going to be a display campaign, which is banner ads? Is it a shopping campaign where it shows a picture of the product and the price and you can click on it? That's only for e-commerce. Is it a video campaign? Is it express, uh, which is a little bit more automation? It, it kind of shows everywhere. And discovery shows on specific ones. Usually express and discovery they swap these out and test different things for automation. If you want to run a search campaign on google.com, you'll just select search. It's, it's the easiest one to get started with. And then once you set that up, it will go into all your different settings. So it, uh, the campaign level has a lot of different configuration settings. Where do you want to show? The United States, a particular city, uh, the language your ad is in, and the keywords are in, kind of who you're targeting, English speakers in this case. Uh, audiences, that's later for remarketing and some other complex audiences. Your budget, it's usually set to a daily budget, how much you want to spend. Then it has your bidding. It, it has all the technical settings in the background to start at the campaign level. Whereas when you go to ad groups, that's one level lower. Ad groups in Google Ads are where most of the second level settings are, and that's where you're going to be managing all those other settings. So. For example, ad groups are the second level of the hierarchy with running ads and configuring settings with ads and keywords. So that means this is where the keywords go and where the ads go that you want to trigger per keyword. So expanding on that a little bit more, here's just a, a simple example. Google uses one too, just shoes. Very simple to understand. The, uh, you have ad group one, this is for running shoes. So inside of ad group one, It'll be keywords related to running shoes. So you have best running shoes, affordable running shoes, running shoes store near me. And then the ad 
that will mention um, running shoes because the keywords people type are about running shoes and some variation of that. And then the headline of that, those ads will be high quality running shoes, buy running shoes today, things like that. Whereas if you also sell different types of shoes, but you want a different ad group, because uh, it, it doesn't make sense to show the same ad for different keywords, maybe you also sell hiking boots, also a type of shoe technically, but you'd need a different group. So that, that ad group would contain keywords related to hiking boots. So you've got hiking boots, quality hiking boots, brown hiking boots, and then of course that ad would say high quality hiking boots. So if someone types in hiking boots, your ad shows for hiking boots. But if they type running shoes, your ad shows for running shoes. This is what all the ad groups are for. That's why you would separate it. The next level keywords, uh, keywords are keywords inside your Google ads account are how you set up what searches you want to show for on google.com. These are the actual keywords or slight variations that you want your ad to show for. Keywords are a lower level of the hierarchy for what keywords you want to show for and which ad you want to match each, each keyword as you group them the together in different ad groups. This is where you control which keywords trigger your ad showing. Uh, that's what that means. So the reverse of that would be negative keywords. You can add keywords you want to show up for and keywords you want to make sure you don't show up for at the same time. So this excludes your ads from showings for a particular search terms. Negative keywords can be added to the campaign uh, or a specific ad group to block searches containing that exact word. So for example, going back to the running shoes, adding the word orange would block a search for orange running shoes. So where you use this is, is, you know, maybe you do sell running shoes, but you don't have the color orange. So you want to show for a lot of different variations of running shoes, different colors, different types, but not orange because you don't, you don't sell orange. So adding orange as a negative keyword would block any running shoe searches that contain the word orange. So next part would be the ad setups. The search ads are the actual ads that appear when someone searches for your keywords on Google. Search ads are groups into different ad groups along with groups of keywords. So search ads are where you control what, ad what your ad message says and where the users are taken to after they click it. Kind of does it go to a website? Does it go uh, to a particular page or a landing page or a product page? That's where you set up the actual ad. There's also ad extensions, which add on more information, such as a phone number, additional selling points, specific links to different pages, list, or your business address. You've, you've probably seen this. You can click and get directions, uh, or you can call them, like if you're on a mobile phone, things like that. So they're usually set up at the campaign level, but you can also set them up at the ad group level. So taking a look at ads and ad extensions, here's a local company that does paper shredding services. Uh, they have, you've probably seen this, this is the ad. A lot of this is actually ad extensions. They wrote the ad and then they, they built out fully, uh, fully built out ad extensions. So you have actually highlighted uh, the phone number up top, that's an ad extension. Here's the actual ad, not highlighted. Uh, additional selling points, locally owned and operated, 24 seven solutions, customized solutions. Those are additional ad extensions, we'll explain later. And service catalog, you can add a list. They do document shredding, scanning, uh, they do record disposal, on-site, off-site. It's all these other selling points that you could extend your ad with the ad extensions, whereas it'd get kind of, kind of clogged up if you just wrote it in the regular ad. So, and then there's specific uh, ad extensions, maybe you wanna click on contact us, or off-site, or on-site, so you can, expand your ad and take up a lot more space, uh, which is good to take up more real estate than your competitors. I mean, the bigger the ad, the better to have this at the top and, and take up more space. So anyway, that is a quick crash course on uh, Google ads and how it works, setting it up inside the platform. So you know a little bit more about why certain Google ads show up and why they look the way they do and how to set it up for yourself and expand on that so you can have your ads running on Google as well. All right, everyone, thanks so much for watching our PPC ads training video. Uh, if you want more videos, go ahead and hit the subscribe button. 
Uh, like this video if you found it useful and any questions, post them in the comments down below. Uh, we also have additional training in the description. So thanks so much for watching and we'll see you in the next video.